One of the best things about the Apple ecosystem is the fact that you can seamlessly sync your iPhone photos to your MacBook, and now you can seamlessly sync your iPhone photos to Windows PC as well in a couple of easy steps. With that being said, let's get into this. So the first thing we're gonna do is press the start button and we're gonna go over to the Photos app that is already installed on your Windows 10 and Windows 11 computer. And you can see from here, this is syncing all the photos that I have in my OneDrive uh, it's syncing to my computer. But what we're gonna do now is on the left-hand side, you see you have all photos, your OneDrive. Underneath that, you also have iCloud Photos now as well. This is a new addition and if we select on iCloud Photos, this is gonna ask us to start to get iCloud for Windows and we're gonna select on the button here in the middle and this will open up the Microsoft Store. Uh, now it's gonna ask us to download the iCloud Store and it's from Apple uh, and we're just gonna select on Install. This will take a couple of seconds to download. It's not very big. iCloud on Windows previously was really quite poor. That's why it's got a 2.5 star rating, but they've recently made some changes and it is a lot better now, especially when it comes to syncing things from your iPhone to Windows 10 and Windows 11 PC. Now that it says the download is complete, we're simply gonna select on open, and this is gonna ask us to sign in to our OneDrive account, sorry, our Apple ID. Uh, we're gonna select on yes, allow the app to make changes, and it's gonna show you a few things that you can sync here. The first one is of course, seeing all your files and your photos from your iCloud to your File Explorer. You can of course choose to sync your passwords and your bookmarks as well. Uh, and then you can sync your calendars as well to Outlook if you want. We're gonna select on Get Started in the bottom right hand corner. And now you're gonna sign in with your Apple ID, username and password. Once you sign in with your Apple username and password, you are gonna get a verification code on your iPhone. So this is just gonna two-factor verify to make sure it is you. You're gonna pop in that verification code number and then it's gonna to start to sign you in. It's a really easy and really simple way of connecting up. And I really like this uh, little Apple loading um, syncing screen. Uh, even on Windows, they do make their things look quite cool. And now it's gonna give you five options here. The first one is of course to sync your iCloud photos to Microsoft Photos. You can go into the advanced settings here if you want and you can choose the file path. Uh, you can choose to download in high efficiency or you can go and download in HDR. Uh, and then you can use iCloud to share apps, um, share albums and things like that. You can turn this on or off. And if you wanna change where the photos and videos are stored, simply select on change down the bottom. I am not gonna make any changes for now. I'm simply gonna select on cancel, get out of the event settings and go sync photos. If you don't wanna sync it though, you can select on not now, but I'm gonna select on sync photos. Next, it's gonna say, do you wanna sync your files from iCloud Drive to File Explorer? This is super handy if you store files in your File Explorer uh, and your iCloud Drive. So I'm gonna select on sync. I'll go through that in a bit. You can of course choose to sync your passwords if you use Apple Keychain. You can sync it to Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome or whatever web browser you have installed on your PC. I'm gonna go not now, because I don't wanna do that for now. Uh, and I'm not gonna sync my bookmarks across either. So again, I'm gonna go not now. And the last thing it's gonna ask is, do you wanna sync your calendars across? I don't need to. Uh, if you wanted to, you can select on sync. Uh, but again, I'm gonna go not now because I just wanted to sync across my photos and of course my files from iCloud to my Windows 11 PC. So again, not now. Uh, and last one, if you wanna share analytics, if, if things are working well or if they crash, you can choose to have this button ticked, on, <clears throat> ticked or not. Uh, you don't have to, but I will. And then I'm gonna simply select on finish setup and it is going to start loading and iCloud's gonna open up. And you'll see in the background here that it is gonna start syncing my iCloud photos across. It says down the bottom, getting things ready. And now this will purely depend on your, uh, your internet speed. And then in our iCloud um, application, you can of course choose what you are and what you're not syncing. You can see I have iCloud photos and iCloud, iCloud Drive turned on, but password, bookmarks, and calendars, I've turned those off. And if I scroll down, I can actually also access things like my iCloud storage. I can manage it from here. Um, I can visit iCloud.com to access things like my notes and reminders. Uh, but while this actually syncs up in the background, I'm gonna launch into our file explorer. And then on the left-hand side here, you'll see we have our OneDrive, our desktop, our downloads. And down the bottom, we actually have our iCloud photo. And this will start loading all our images across. And then of course, we also have our iCloud Drive, which is all the files that I have synced to my iCloud will now appear on here as well. 
You can see here they have a syncing symbol next to them. If I click, if I right click on any of these, I can of course choose to do things like share the file with uh, through OneDrive, which is going to give me something like a sharing link. Then I can control how people uh, add or access that. If I wanted to move something from my computer into OneDrive or iCloud Drive, I could just copy and paste it across. So as these photos sync up, you're probably thinking, are they going to take up a whole bunch of storage space on your computer? And the answer is they will not. You can see here that it actually shows a little iCloud symbol in the top left hand corner of each photo. And if you right click on that photo, you can actually scroll down and go to open file location. If we open this up, this is going to take us to the iCloud photos on your computer or the little I iCloud photo symbol on the left hand side. And what you'll notice here is that all these photos have a little cloud icon next to them and under the availability status it says available when online. So that means these photos are available to your computer when you are online. When you open up any of them it will download it quickly and you can start accessing it from there but it's not taking up any extra storage on your computer. If you wanted to however keep a photo on your computer at all times you can simply right click on that photo or video and then you can scroll down to the button here that says always keep on this device and that will start to download that image or that video onto your computer and instead of having a cloud next to it you get that green tick saying it's always downloaded if for whatever reason you've accidentally downloaded a whole bunch of photos that you don't want to keep always stored locally on your hard drive because it's taking up space simply find all the photos with the green tick and then right click on those photos and then select on the option of free up space and this will start to push it back up online. So again, it will be accessible when you are connected to the internet, but it's not taking up storage space on your computer. Now, if I jump back into the Photos app, there are a few cool things you can do here. So I can right click on a photo and then I can choose if I wanted to, I could back it up to OneDrive or I could select on a range of photos by selecting one, holding shift and grabbing these two rows here. It's going to highlight all these photos. Then I could right click on them and then I could do something like start a slideshow, open them, or if I wanted to down the bottom, I could create a video using ClickChamp that is installed on your computer as well. And there you have it. It is finally that easy to sync all your photos from your iPhone to your Windows computer. If you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up. If you're going to supercharge your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.